Hey guys, today we're going to do a Great Depression pecanless pie. I saw this recipe and I, I mean, I was just really interested. I'm interested in anything from the Great Depression, how they made ends meet when they could not afford to go and buy what they needed to make a meal. So this is going to be a pecanless pie because pecans had gotten so expensive and if you didn't have your own trees, you couldn't enjoy a pecan pie like at Christmas and Thanksgiving and things like that. So they found a way to do it. So this is what we're going to do. We're flipping it, of course. I'm going to be making a gluten-free pie crust. Here I have almond flour, two cups, half a teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of sugar. I've added two tablespoons of coconut oil and I'm going to add one egg. This is gonna be our gluten-free pie crust. First step is just simply mix all this together and form a ball. And that's all there is to the pie crust part of it. You get it all mixed together. And this makes a really good pie crust. I've used it many, many times. Most people don't even know there's a difference in the pie crust. So it works really well. And when you get it pretty much like this, you gotta use your hands anyway. So, you just start forming a ball and packing it together because you can't roll out a gluten-free pie crust. Well, you might could, but I'm not going to. It's much easier this way, takes less time, less, you do it in two bowls and you're done. As you can see, presses into a nice bowl. There you have it. Okay, now pie crust. We're gonna take a pie pan that a friend of mine gave me. She brought me several of these, so I have plenty, and I'm probably gonna use them for our gathering. And what I'm talking about, I've got on my gathering apron. So our fall gathering is gonna be October the 28th. We would like for you guys to come and join us. Anybody that's close enough or even if you're not close enough and you want to drive, come join us at Flint Creek Water Park on October the 28th. It starts at 10 o'clock. It is a potluck. And for anybody that doesn't understand what a potluck is, that means you bring food. And I don't care if it's homemade. I'd love for it to be homemade if you got time to make homemade. But if you want to go buy Popeyes or Pizza Hut or Piggly Wiggly or, you know, wherever, Subway, I don't care. You go buy, pick up some food and bring it. Just know you got to share because I like Popeyes. I don't care which way you do it, whether you cook it or you bring it, but we need desserts. We need vegetables. We need casseroles. We need meat. If you want to bring hot dogs and hamburgers and cook them there, or you want to cook them and bring them, it's up to you. There are grills available. Uh, you may want to bring some charcoal because it is a charcoal grill. Just cover all your bases when you come. Make sure you bring what you need. We will be in the Lakeside Lodge. That is um, a nice building. It's a brick building. It is handicap accessible. So anybody with uh, issues that has to have a way to get in, like wheelchairs or a walker or anything like that, it's, it's there. There are bathrooms inside the building. We're also near a pavilion that has extra bathrooms. We have a lakeside view, which is beautiful. There are picnic tables outside. You can also bring your lawn chairs and sit there Outside, if it's not raining, that's why we have the building. If it's raining or it's cold or whatever, we have air conditioning, heat in the building. If it's nice, we're outside, bring lawn chairs, sit out. If you wanna go fishing, make sure you have a Mississippi fishing license or you buy an out-of-state fishing license before you come. Because it is a um, Pat Harrison waterway district and the game wardens do uh, come through checking on occasion. 
Ask Danny, he got checked one time when we were out there. The only time we've ever went out fishing and he got checked. Um, and he did have a license, okay? So that's part of it. It has porches. Okay, that's my pie crust. We're going to put it in the oven for about, I don't know, maybe five minutes because I really don't want it cook cooked. But if you're going to cook it and then add a different type that doesn't need to be cooked a lot, you would do it 10 to 12. But I'm going to put it in about five minutes. And that is at 350. Okay. So with the gathering, this um, is a gathering apron made by Grandma Rose. Um, her Etsy site, I think, is Absolute Wonder. She has these gathering aprons for sale. And the reason it's called a gathering apron is because here you can pull it up and it makes this cute um, basket. And this thing runs down. And if you're outside and you need to put something in your apron, you know how you're always outside and need and something to tote something and you're out from the house and you don't have it. You can put your veggies, your eggs, uh, whatever you find out there and do it. And then just to let it down, you mash the little thingy, it goes back into an apron. We're gonna give one of these away at our Deep South Homestead gathering. The one I've picked has got fall colors, so it goes with the fall gathering. Then we're given away from 7D Farms. She's all, both of these are both in Mississippi. That's one reason I chose them. Um, 7D Farms is bringing me some bread. I'm gonna give away two loaves during the day of some type of specialty bread that she makes. Now we're gonna move on to our Great Depression pecanless pie. It's also called an Amish oatmeal pie because we're using oatmeal. All right, to start with, we mix all our ingredients together and have it ready for our crust, which is in the oven, and we're gonna take it out and have it ready here in just a moment. Okay, the first thing we need is one cup and one quarter cup of brown sugar, a teaspoon of vanilla, a quarter teaspoon of salt, three tablespoons of butter, and this is my home canned butter. Then we have three eggs, I think half a cup of sugar, regular sugar, three quarters of a cup of oats, three quarters of a cup of milk, and this is almond milk, so it doesn't matter with your milk what you're using. And then we add our three eggs. Okay, with Great Depression cooking, everything pretty much mixed up in one bowl. And you had it ready to go in the pie crust. Now, if you're doing a cake, there's usually a method, what goes in first, what goes in second, but with this, this is it. Everything dumps in one, mixes well, and goes into a pie crust. Okay, so we have our pie crust out. I'm mixing this up really well. Like I say, five or six, seven minutes on the crust. Ten or twelve if you're cooking it all the way before adding something. Mix this up really well. And we pour it into our pie crust. And that should fill one pie crust up. We have our oven ready at 350. We're going to put it in the oven for 45 to 50 minutes and make sure it sets. With the pecan pie, it needs to settle. So this is our pecanless pie. It's a Great Depression pie. We're going to see what it looks like when it comes out of the oven. Okay, that's what it looks like. I'm putting it on a cookie sheet in order to get it into the oven. And with our fall gathering, guys, just show up, have fun. We're gonna have a link on Facebook. If you go to Deep South Homestead on Facebook, I have a link to an event. If you wanna uh, talk to people that are going, communicate, find lodging, ask questions, whatever, go to Facebook, check that link out. Um, on the Deep South Homestead Fall Gathering.
It looks like a pecan pie, only it's oatmeal. So this is our Great Depression pecanless pie or an Amish oatmeal pie. It's rounded up now and I'm sure it's going to settle in a few minutes. So we're going to see when it cools off about 30 minutes or an hour what it tastes like. Okay guys, so we have our pecanless pie here. Actually it is an Amish oatmeal pie. See, I've already cut one. It's settled. It's that's what you want. You want it where it's packed and settled after it cools. That's what it does. Here, I have my pie. We're gonna try it. I've got my candy corn coffee. I'm gonna sit down and eat this and drink some of my coffee. Let's see what it tastes like. Our pecanless pie. It's not bad. You might not even know that it didn't have pecans in it because the oats kind of toast like the pecans do. Um, the filling is pretty similar to a filling of a pecan pie. Uh, it, the crust, my gluten-free crust, you wouldn't know that it was gluten-free. This is pretty good, guys. Our, our Great Depression pecanless pie, or AKA Amish oatmeal pie. I'm gonna sit down with my coffee and enjoy this. And I, again, I wanna invite each of you to go over to Deep South Homestead on Facebook and like the Facebook page, but also go to our event of Deep South Homestead's Fall Gathering and click on if you can go or whatever. And if you have questions, click on there and start asking your questions. We'll see you in October, on October 28th at the Fall Gathering. If not, we wish you could be there. Thank you from Deep South Homestead.